Listeners of Father Mark, Mark Beard said their final goodbyes today during a funeral mass held in St. Helena Parish where he served. Father Beard's life was suddenly cut short by a car crash over the weekend, but those who knew him say his messages and work will live on. Most people will never know the impact they leave on this world. But in the case of Father Mark Beard, his impact is as clear as this packed sanctuary in Amite. To say that Father Beard made efforts sounds like nothing when we consider the actual extent of his labors. Father Beard answered the call to enter the priesthood later in life. But it's that extra life experience that his parishioners and friends say made him such an exceptional pastor. Perhaps that's why the memories shared during his funeral mass brought out joy and laughter instead of sadness at his loss. You know what it means to have a son or a daughter, okay? You don't always agree with them. Sometimes they go off on their own. And sometimes you think they're telling you everything, but they don't always tell you everything. <laughs> so I think Mark and I had that kind of relationship, I believe. <laughs> but, I never doubted that his heart was in the right place. Friends and brothers in the cloth shared stories of his humor, hard work, and devotion to God and people. And to show just one small example of his thoughtfulness, making sure that every employee of the Waffle House had a Christmas present from St. Helena every year. Although his mission was cut short, those who knew Father Beard take comfort in knowing how far his work reached. That was the why of Father Beard's priesthood, that through Christ and his church, each of us would gain heaven. That is his beginning as a priest, and that is his end, to shepherd us towards eternal life. Father Beard was a Baton Rouge native and a close friend of the governor. He celebrated his 62nd birthday just here recently. The Glen Oaks High School.